Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer as always for you, and it looks like Roblox was kind of stealth released today, and you can most definitely play it now on your quest to stand alone. So, first things first, you have to have an account with Roblox. All you have to do is go to roblox.com, hit sign up, put in your email address, create a username, and bada bing, bada boom. So, once that's done, go ahead and download the Roblox app on your Quest 2 standalone headset. Open up the app, and you're going to be prompted here with a login with another device. So, at the moment, you cannot log in directly onto Roblox on your Quest 2. So, all you're going to do is you're basically going to click log in with another device. You're going to get some kind of code here, and basically, after you're done that... You just want to go on to whatever device you can sign on with. I'm using my PC. You can also use your Roblox app on your phone. But you want to go to account settings and then quick login and enter in your code. All right. Once you've logged into your computer there, basically it just takes you to the main screen like you would see on the computer for Roblox. Very, very neat. Very, very simple. It is kind of a pain that you have to log in with another device, so hopefully they'll fix that later on. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, you can go to your character profile and uh, basically customize it however you want. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much up to you. Once again, everything uh, takes Roblox money or whatever you want to call it there, or Robux, I think is what they call it. But, uh, yeah, you can definitely customize your character however you want. Uh, kind of up to you. So those of you that want to spend the money doing that type of stuff most definitely can. Completely up to you. I personally don't care at the moment. Uh, maybe I'll check it out later and we can customize some things. Um, and that's really all there is to it as far as customizing your character. So once you back out, uh, the thing I would highly recommend doing first is the VR tutorial. And that's going to be right up here, right as one of the first things you can select. Because there are a few settings in this that you're going to need to do in order to make sure your VR is running smoothly. So go ahead and click VR tutorial. And that pretty much launches you right into the game. All right, once you're in, you can see that you kind of have third-person movement there, which is kind of cool, but you really just want to make sure that you're following the movement controls and everything uh, that's on here just so you can understand uh, what is going on and how to play this in virtual reality on your standalone because it is a little bit different. And, uh, yeah, so make sure you do that. Very, very simple. Uh, you have things like the safety bubble. Uh, you have a few other things. You can go to third person or first person um, by clicking in your right thumbstick. Uh, the safety bubble allows you to get super close to somebody. Um, some people don't like that, so you can set your safety bubble uh, where people are only can get so close to you so you can see them at a diff distance, which is cool if you, if you really need that. Um, really, everything is basically in your settings so you want to go down to these three bars uh, that are on your little menu then click settings uh, you can enable the vignette you can enable smooth turning you can see who's allowed to be in your safety bubble uh, the quality level uh, of graphics you can set it to automatic there's also advanced settings uh, which is kind of more for the developers and develop co developer console uh, so you don't really need to mess with too much of that but it is very simple and easy and, uh, yeah, you can run around here and, and kind of see uh, what the environment looks like. You can, once again, move from third person to first person, which is really cool. You can jump. Um, pretty pretty simple stuff here, but it allows you to just get more comfortable in Roblox and kind of see how the VR stuff works. So, once you're done that, you can look down and basically uh, you can click the little door on the menu and you can leave the experience which brings you back to the VR stuff. Now, in order to find VR games, you want to click the search button. Just type in VR and hit search. And bada bing, bada boom. That's really all you have to do. Now, there was one game that I wanted to see here uh, that was actually on the main menu, uh, which looked really neat. 
And uh, hopefully I can find it again here. Let's go ahead and go back. Ah, here it was. Uh, Skywinds is what it was called. So really, you just find a game you want to play, and then you click the tile, and it brings you to the whole VR experience here. Uh, it's kind of like the Meta Store. You can look and see uh, the description of the game, make sure it's free, you know, things of that nature, uh, which is really, really cool. And then all you have to do is click the play button. Once you hit the play button, you might come into a little bit of a loading screen here. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You uh, just come in and basically are into a VR game. Pretty cool. Uh, you can basically just play it like any other uh, VR game uh, like you would. So it's very, very simple and easy. Uh, not hard at all. It, it really, really makes things so much easier to play in VR. It, it just, it really is quite simple. <laughs> and, and I'm amazed how great this is going to be. I mean, you really are going to have access to so many games now, especially for free. It's going to be absolutely amazing uh, what this is going to do for developers and just people in general who want to play more VR games. It's, it's amazing to me how accessible uh, this makes things. Now, do be careful because some games definitely are going to have to be paid for. Uh, so make sure you're not charging your mom and dad's credit card with this. But very, very, very cool. I cannot wait for more in-depth games like Ares VR. That is really something I want to play. Uh, and it's all through the Roblox engine. So that's one in particular that, that I'm really amped that we get to play now very, very quickly and very, very easy uh, just by pulling up a simple app through the headset. So once again, I think this is going to revolutionize how we take a look at VR gaming and how easy it is to access certain games. Um, not only that, we got more people going to be able to create, create on this engine, and uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more from a bunch of indie developers. So with all that being said, I just kind of wanted to announce that, hey, uh, Roblox is most definitely here on standalone, uh, and they really didn't kind of announce when it was going to happen, but here we are. It's here. So, as always, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for everything that's Roblox. I can't wait to see what we can play. It's going to be amazing. We'll see y'all on the next episode.